Stephen Hawking was a famous theoretical physicist known for his immense contribution in the world of science. He was suffering from a very rare neurodegenerative disease called ALS. Early onset of this slow progressing disease paralyzed him over the decades. Unfortunately, he passed away in March 2018. The famous Ice Bucket Challenge campaign was promoted by Stephen Hawking to create awareness and raise funds for research needed to find cure for ALS. ALS, that is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, is a disorder involving death of motor neurons causing atrophy of muscles connected to the neuromuscular junction and related cells like glial cells. Let's start from the basics. The computer in your head, brain, is made up of numerous circuits of cells called neurons. A junction where a neuron connects another neuron is called a synapse. This is usually an exciting site as a lot of signals or messages are conveyed to the brain via this path. One such kind of synapse of motor neuron connecting muscles is called neuromuscular junction. This junction is used for sending and receiving motor signals to and from the brain. The involvement of glial cells in ALS has also been established in the past few years. The death of motor neurons cause atrophy of muscles, starting from muscle fatigue to muscle weakness. ALS is characterized by gradual paralysis of the whole body. This disorder prohibits the ability to speak, walk, move, swallow and ultimately breathe. Mutations in around 36 genes individually are so far known to cause ALS. Recent studies suggest possibility of interaction among these genes in ALS affected patients. The general way to study function of a gene is by using mutation as a tool. Any change in the DNA is called mutation. Worldwide, various research projects are being carried on these genes in model systems like Drosophila, commonly known as fruit fly. Why Drosophila though? Using such a model system enables easy comparison with human functions and are easy to maintain in the lab. Among these genes is VAP gene, that is vesicular associated membrane associated protein. Gene VAP is being studied in depth at ICER Pune using the model system Drosophila melanogaster. I'm working in Girish Ratnapaki's lab. What we do over here is we are working on this disease called as ALS. What our plans are with respect to uh, this hypothesis we have is that uh, we take these flies which have the VAP P58S mutation and uh, we perform motor assays. So these flies, they are fine when they close, as in they come out on the day one. And from the first day to the fifth day, these flies are normally walking, climbing and flying. After the fifth day, around the seventh day, these flies stop flying. And then later, as the age of these flies progresses, towards the 10th or the 12th day, these flies stop climbing or they become weak with respect to climbing. Then towards the 20th day, they'll stop climbing and later they can just barely support themselves or uh, stay fine on the media. And then later they die within like 30 days. Involvement of a glial cell and uh, the involvement of multiple mutations together, what is happening at the dynamics of the tripartite, which is the motor neuron, the muscle and the glial cells is what is we are studying. Uh, considering the Drosophila model that we've uh, built up in the lab. Right now, there's no cure for ALS. There are just two uh, medicines which are there in the market. Uh, one is Riluzole and the other is Adavarone. The problem with this is that uh, the exact mechanism or uh, the dynamics between in the system of a patient is not known with respect to ALS. Till that is not known, finding a complete cure is something which is next to impossible. Based on the ALS association survey, this disorder can strike anyone. It occurs throughout the world with no racial, ethnic or socio-economic boundaries known. Every 90 minutes, someone is diagnosed and someone passes away due to ALS. Among 90% of the cases, ALS occurs without any family history. Since ALS has been a very complicated disorder with no known cure so far, it becomes extremely important to establish the roles of genes and cells and finally end the misery of ALS patients. Mm -hmm.